Thank you, President Peterson. Good morning. A little louder. I, I need audience participation here. Good morning to all our graduates, family, friends, and the rest of our Georgia Tech community. It is a day of celebration, and I am proud to be here to share a few words with you on this very special day. No matter, no matter how many commencement ceremonies I attend, and I have been in many during my career, the feeling and excitement never goes away. It is full of energy and anticipation and filled with possibility. I hope you are incredibly proud today. We certainly are proud of you. Today, as you receive the highest degree offered by this institution, you enter a very distinct class of individuals. Few, very few in the world have attained this level of educational accomplishment. And as with many addresses of commencements past, I would tell you that today marks an ending, but also a beginning. There will be many more beginnings and endings to come. There will be many more opportunities and with them, many more decisions to make. After today, I would like everyone to forever, forever remember this line, and I want you to repeat after me. I am not throwing away my shot. Loud, come on. Again. You're doing better. By the end, you better be better. <laughs> Many of you are probably familiar with Lin Manuel Miranda's hit American musical Hamilton. Since its broad Broadway debut more than two and a half years ago, it's been an absolute phenomenon, exciting audiences and opening up the world to American history in a whole new way. I was privileged to see it a couple of months back and I was absolutely blown away. It is a story of risk-taking, of having courage in the face of extreme adversity, doubt, and uncertainty. It is also about choices and consequences. But to me, the most compelling part of the storyline kept coming back to the idea of opportunity. And as the line says, not throwing away your, come on, I left the theater that night thinking of my own personal journey and have since kept coming back to that theme and what it takes to navigate life's tough choices. I made one of those first big decisions when I was 17. I left Puerto Rico to begin my academic journey at MIT. To set the stage for you, I had a language barrier. I was entering a prestigious institution and university where I would become painfully aware very fast that I was behind the curve academically compared to my peers. I would have to prove that I could work hard and enter a world of unknowns without support. But I was not, what is the line I told you to remember? Say it again with me. I was not throwing away my shot. Skip ahead 15 years, at 32, I was offered the first administrative job of my career, a job I had always, always wanted and a position that, I, that would have me following the footsteps of my heroes. I was not, help me, throwing away my shot. Come on, you have to learn. <laughs> my career continued and just a few short years later, I found myself offered yet another move where I would serve as department head. It was flattering and exciting, but this time I knew I wasn't prepared. I was inexperienced and wanted to develop my academic career further. Opportunities for provost and president positions would come even later down the road. I turned them down. There were certainly doubts walking away from opportunities, but looking back, I know they were the right decisions. My career has taught me 
that not every opportunity is the right one. Sometimes, as difficult as it may be, the answer is no. Ten years ago, I left MIT, in a way my only true home after 40 years there. My wife and I decided to have a new overdue adventure in California. I was enjoying life there, feeling good and fulfilled as Dean of Engineering in a wonderful and weather-wise idyllic University of California, Irvine. Then came the call from Georgia Tech. He made the call. <laughs> it was a difficult decision. I was feeling great, or was going wonderfully well, and I had just been there two years. But you know the answer. I was not throwing away my shot. As you go out and continue on your own scholarly and professional path and careers, remember that sometimes taking your shot means knowing, means knowing when to say yes and when the answer is not now. The real key is to know yourself and to be willing to take chances. To, you see, opportunities are created. They are not a result of luck. The best decisions are usually the ones where you are not comfortable with all the, with all the possible outcomes. Know yourself. See the opportunity, and when it's right, take your shot. Always put yourself, push yourself. You certainly do not earn a PhD without having a curious spirit and mind. But don't let today's ceremony and the completion of your degree to be the end of that curiosity. I encourage you to never, never stop seeking. Never, never stop answering questions or asking questions. Make conscious decisions to push yourself to the absolute edge of your comfort zone. With your education comes influence. Use it wisely to do good. As you continue on, never forget your responsibility and obligation to serve others and use your influence to improve the lives of those around you in every decision you make, in every shot you take. Let me end by paraphrasing Lin Manuel Miranda's Hamilton. By the way, I'm proud to say that he's also from Puerto Rico. I invite you to repeat after me, and I really need you to do so loudly. I am not throwing away my shot. You're getting better. With a PhD from Georgia Tech, I am not throwing. I will go out and do the best. I will serve and save the world. I will give back. I will excel. I will not be. Very good. Thank you. Go out and make us proud.